For the following exercises, use each pair of functions to find f of g of 0 and g of f of 0. Okay, so we have two different examples here. Let's work on the one on the left first. And it looks like we have to do both composite functions. So we have to do f of g of 0 and g of f of 0. Okay, so we worked with tons of composite functions already in this playlist. If you're on the playlist, I highly suggest you be on the playlist. Um, so we know that with composite functions, we always work from the inner function to the outer function. And inner function to outer function is all about parentheses. All right, so let's do the first one first. They want us to find f of g of 0. So between the two functions here, an f function versus a g function, which one is the inner function? It's the g one, right? Because the g function, and this is g of 0, it's inside these parentheses, and the f function is outside. So this would be the inner function, and the f function would be the outer function. Okay. And they tell us what g function is, which is 7 minus x squared, and then we know that the f function is 4x plus 8. Okay, so going down to our tips and tricks over here, the first thing we always do is we plug in the input, which is usually a number, for the inner function and solve. In this case, we actually have a number, it's 0. So for the first step, we're going to just plug in g of 0. So wherever there is an x, in our g function, we will be plugging in a 0 for that. So we have 7 minus, it was x squared, but now since our number is 0, it will be 0 squared. And now all we got to do is do that math. Well, 7 minus 0 squared, 0 squared is 0. 7 minus 0 is just 0, so g of 0 equals 7. So now I will use that new input... It was the output, but now I'm going to plug it back in that we just solved for and plug it into the outer function. So that's number two. Number two is finally taking that outer function, which was the f function. So f of what, though? Oh, it's the answer to what we had before. So in this case, it's f of 7. And now I look at the f function. Any time that I see an x value, and right here, I'm going to plug in a 7. So it would be 4 times 7, and then plus 8. And then just do your math. So f of 7 equals 28 plus 8, which is 36. So you can either say that this is f of 7, or it's the overall total. So it would be f of g of 0. And that would be equal to 28 plus 8, so... 36. And that is your final answer for the first one. Now we're going to go a little faster because we kind of have the idea here. Let's switch them up. So we need to find out what g of f of 0 is. Follow the same rules. The inner function now is the f function. The outer function is the g function. So for number 1, we're going to be doing the f function first, f of 0, which means that any time that I see an x value right here, I'm going to plug it at 0. So 4 times 0 plus 8. Finish it out. f of 0 would be equal to 4 times 0 is 0, plus 8, which is just an 8. Now we move on to the second part. Now comes the outer function. The outer function was g in this case. But what number are we going to use? It's the answer to the, the first part, right? So now it's g of 8, which means that any time that I see an x in my g function, I will plug in a 8. So 7 minus, okay, here's an 8, and then I got to square that. So 8 squared is 64. So I can say that g of 8 equals 7 minus 64. And then just plug it in, 7 minus 64, just to make sure that I got my math right, negative 57. So we can say g of 8, which is the same thing as g of f of 0, is negative 57. And there you go. But as you can see here that we swapped uh, 
the inner and outer functions, they were the same functions, however, but the answers are completely different. So just be careful of that, guys. Okay, moving on to the next one. We got two new functions here, same gist. So let's do the first one, f of g of zero. Okay, well, inner is the g function, outer is the f function. So we got to work from inner to outer. So one, g of zero is, the new g function is this, four minus two x squared. So wherever there's an x, I'm gonna plug in a zero. So it would be four minus two times zero squared. Okay, well, g of zero equals four minus zero squared is zero, zero times two is zero, so g of zero would just be equal to four. Now, use that answer, plug it into the outer function. The outer function was f, and the answer, the answer is going in right here, so f of four. So that means any time that I have a x value and it's right here, a four is going in for that x. So we got, um, let's see here. Let's do five times four and then plus seven. And then just do the math. So f of four equals five times four is 20, 20 plus seven is 27. So you could either say f of four or you could say the whole entire thing, f of g of zero. And that equals, oh, that wasn't a good parenthesis, equals 27. And that is the answer to the first one. Now let's see guys, will we get the same answer if we just do g of f of zero? Let's see, you guys probably know the answer already. One, the inner function now is the f function and the outer function is the g function. So we gotta do the inner function first, f of zero. Anytime I see a x value, I'm plugging into zero. So five times zero, plus seven. Do the math, f of zero, we got this one, right? Five times zero is zero, plus seven is just a seven. So now we're on to the second part. Now I use my outer function, g of seven, because it's the answer from part one. And now, whenever you see a seven, oh, actually, hold on, whoop, I'm on the wrong function. Anytime you see a seven here, and there's one right here, you will plug in a seven. So let me just reiterate, go to the G function. Anytime that you see an X, you plug in a seven. So it will be four minus two times seven and then square that. Now let's just simplify. So we got G of seven equals four minus two times seven squared is 49. Remember, this is not seven times two. This is seven times seven. The two tells me how many times I will multiply this number. So just make sure that you know what exponents are. Okay, so two times 49, if I just plug this all on in, right? Two times 49 would be 98. And then four minus 98, you get a negative 94. So I can say G of seven equals the same thing as G of F of zero. And that is equal to negative 94. And that's your answer for the second one. And look again, the answers are not the same. We use the two of the same functions. However, the order matters greatly. Okay, guys, this one was easy. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully, you know, I show this one pretty well to you. Um, if this video helped, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, let me know in the comments, and just know that with practice, you guys got this, okay? So just keep practicing math, and I'm sure you guys are going to get great at it, okay? So I'll see you in the next lesson. Let's have some more fun. See you then. Bye-bye.